Hello, and in this video, we're going to create the bottom right of our Trammel toy. Uh, to do this, it's going to be very similar to our top left. Uh, the holes are just oriented a little differently. Other than that, it's very similar to uh, the bottom to the top left. Uh, so I've already got the part set up, bottom right, uh, and we're just going to start by doing a sketch. I'm going to do my sketch on the top surface, so I'm going to finish the top. And if we look back, we can see that the measurement on that, it's got a length of 1 and 7 eighths and a width of 1 and 7 eighths. And then the height for this portion is going to be uh, 3 eighths uh, three eighths for this piece. Uh, so we're going to start our square. I'm just going to bring it out and over. And we're going to set ours as 0.875 and then 1.875 as well. Uh, that gives us our square. Hit our check, change our view so you can see it as we extrude up 3.87 inch or 0.375 inches. So 0.375 for our depth and our green check to accept. Uh, then next step up, again, we're going to use our origin as this back corner. Uh, so we'll scroll on down and we see it's going to have a height again of 3.87 inch. Uh, in this case, the width is going to be 1 and 3 quarters and then the length is also 1 and 3 quarters or 1.75. So we're going to sketch on the top, turn to our top view, and again use the rectangle tool and start at the origin, bring it over, just click anywhere inside the box and do 1.75, enter, 1.75, enter. That gives us our shape, it's fully constrained, and we'll rotate our view so we can extrude it up. So we'll extrude, click inside the box, and go up a distance of 0.375 or 3.87 inch. Our green check to accept. Uh, then now we need to start adding our features. Uh, so if we go on down, we can see first the left hand side in this one is going to be 0.25. Uh, then we'll add our holes. So we'll start with the fillet. Hit fillet. I'll zoom in. You can see we click this edge and we set that value as 0.25 and enter. So that gives us our fillet. Uh, next we need our holes and it shows it as the bottom view. So we want to go from the bottom. So I'm going to turn my view to the bottom and we'll orient our points to create these holes. Uh, to do that, we're going to go and see that everything's 0.375 inches from the edge. So we're going to just create some lines, some construction lines so we can put those points. So I'm going to do a line, construction, go from the top straight down, make sure it's perpendicular, and put it on the line. Uh, then I'm going to do the same thing again, line, construction. Another one going straight down and put it on that line. Uh, third one going horizontally now. So now I'm going to go straight across one edge to the opposite edge and hit escape. And then line construction again horizontal. Uh, make sure it's perpendicular and hit escape. And now we're going to constrain them to lo locate them. So from the line to the edge, I want to be 0.375. Same thing on the opposite side. From the line to the edge, 0.375. Then the same thing up and down, up from the construction line, 0.375. And then on the bottom line to the edge, 0.375. And that fully constrains. And now I'm just going to put points. So I'm going to make sure I get two lines highlighted and then click my point. Two lines, click my point. Two lines, click my point, and then two lines, click my point. Hit our green check to accept, and now we're going to start looking at where our objects are oriented and where the line goes. So this front right corner, if we look on our view, that's hole number three. So we come over hole number three, and we see it's 0.2483. So we're going to go back to our object. I'm going to select the hole tool, and I'm going to click on that point and make it a simple through hole because it's going all the way through and the diameter of 0.248 and then enter a green check to accept. Uh, then I'm going to go opposite that corner. So if we look back on our diagram, opposite of 3 is 2 and that's 0.2093. So we come back, select our hole tool and I'm going to have to resell sketch 3. So I'm going to go over to the eye and select it. Now I can click on that point and I can change that to 0.209. And again, it's simple through, so it's all set up. You know, green check to accept. Uh, then our last two holes are the same size, uh, the 0.89 through, and it's 
symbol cells sets us it's a counter boy with a diameter of 0.310 for a depth of 0.165. Uh, so we'll set that up in our hole tool. We'll select both the points. We'll change it to a counter boy. Uh, it does go through. So we want the first one to be a 1.89 diameter. Uh, the second one to oh, a 0.189 diameter. Second one to be 0.310 diameter. And then for a distance of 0.165. So that's set up. Hit our green check to accept. And that should create the uh, Finally, we're just going to turn our object so you can see it. And then change the color since it uh, matches uh, the color in my picture. You don't have to do this step, uh, but just so it looks right when we get to it later on. So I'll make it approximately a yellowish color. Uh, so hopefully this helps you to create your bottom right piece for your trammel toy. Uh, thank you and good luck.